Hi, in this video we will talk about uh, showing uh, loading states and error messages using React Query Suspense. Um, right now if you use React Query, like the previous version of React Query, uh, we usually display errors and loading states using uh, the uh, data provided by the use query hook. So as for right now, you know, you can see these Pokemon which have been loaded by an endpoint. I can reset it. I can first uh, enable throttling so that we can see the loading because I'm using a local server. If I reset, you can see that it says loading projects because, uh, you know, the query, uh, this is the time the query is, you know, uh, takes uh, that much while. And in that particular time, I'm displaying the loading state for the query. The query uh, uh, is resolved and the data comes and I am, you know, showing the data. And also for this particular, uh, there is a scenario in which I'm making a an request to an endpoint that doesn't exist, a 404. So it is a REC query error. So when I click on uh, this tab, a request goes to this particular endpoint which doesn't exist. So it, uh, it gives a 404 error and I've used a basically fallback for it. So this is how I've done. Um, if I go to the Pokemon list component, I have two tabs. One is the Pokemon tab and I'm in the first tab I'm basically displaying Pokemons which I'm getting from the, an endpoint, a local endpoint, and that works perfectly fine. For this particular endpoint, I am displaying the loading state. So I use the is loading I'm getting from the use query and I'm uh, saying that, you know, it is loading. It should say loading Pokemon, but whatever, you know, it's displaying a loading state. For this particular endpoint with the faulty or, you know, um, uh, an endpoint that doesn't exist, I am actually using an on error function uh, which a uh, use query provides and I'm setting a state to true and when it is true I am displaying this fallback and clicking on this try again button basically sets it to false and you know we basically get the component again this component again if I go to animals I click on try again I get this again cool so what we would want is we uh, this is not a scalable uh, process to display loading and error states we would want to use react suspense for it and error boundaries provided by that query so let's see how we can do it so first of all we would in order for suspense to work we will enable it either we can enable it globally in the app tsx where i'm you know passing the query client uh, configuration either i can pass it here or I can pass it in the individual query itself, but I will pass it here so that it goes to every query. So suspense is set to true. Now I would reach this uh, React Query Suspense component and I would wrap this with the error boundaries and React Suspense components. And then I would basically take these loading and uh, you know error views I'm showing and then I will put them in there in this component using uh, the container wrapper components we have for suspense and error boundaries. So first of all, what we would want is we would uh, use query error reset boundary that is provided to us by that query. Query reset error boundary gives us a function, a component basically, which we will use as a children. And uh, I will now render this and I uh, after that I will return an error boundary component which is given to us by this error boundary rec error boundary library it's a very popular library with around 3 million uh, weekly downloads and that is mostly used for displaying error boundaries in react so this error boundary component expects two props one is on reset on reset would take the reset function which we are getting from this particular component and then fallback render fallback render takes a component as well as a param right now i'm not you know showing anything or i can show null so that it's a valid component right now now we would basically replace this with the fallback render uh, we have for error here in just a minute then we would basically um, you enter the uh, suspense wrapper 
so reactor suspends and then we would wrap this up wrap the pokemon list component here and you can place it here now reactor suspense takes a fallback for the loading states so whenever you are making a request from inside reactor suspense reactor suspense would show that fallback so this expects a tag you know any valid react code so we will you know let's copy this and let's paste it here now also let's copy this error state we have and place it here um this component has two props error and reset error boundary reset error boundary basically resets the error boundary as the name indicates so whenever an error would occur the error boundary would you know uh, be triggered and show the view of whatever we have passed in fallback render now obviously we wouldn't we wouldn't want to you know show the error view the entire time we would want to you know like kind of remove the error view and then go on with our things so we would when we would uh, use this reset error boundary function it would reset the error boundary just like it says and then we would you know do uh, uh, the normal soft um, website operation which we are doing when we would trigger the error again this error boundary would uh, basically show again this component again and this is the error which would have the uh, information for whatever the error is um, particular to the query which failed or whatever but we wouldn't display it because the user doesn't want to know what the error was so we will just show a generic error so just uh, not show that um, yeah that is it um, now let's remove these states so remove this on error we do not want that to remove the state as well and is there anything else no i think it should work now so whenever uh, we click on animals let's say it triggers the slash s route which is not present and gives a 404 error so it handles the error and displays this particular um, piece of uh, error fallback that we have shown and on click this will reset the error boundary to show the component again and then it says loading pokemon and then it shows the pokemon um, uh, which is, uh, are present here so when this query is running for the time being and all the pictures are loading and everything then this fallback is shown which serves as a loading uh, comp loading uh, state or loading view for the component so i hope you like the tutorial um if you want any further react query or formic or next or react related tutorial you can comment down below or if you have any questions you can comment them down below as well and as always thanks for watching like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day